Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you're using the pivot by function and you want to have multiple value fields using different functions. So in my example, I've got a list of sales reps grouped by row and then I've got a value calculation on revenue, a sum of revenue, and then an average calculation based on customer experience rating. So how do we achieve this? Well, the first thing I would do is I'd put my data in a table. So I'm going to click anywhere in the data and use Control T on my keyboard and then click on OK. Then up at the top here where it says table name, I'd give my table a name. So I'll just call this sales, press enter to store the name. So I'm going to create my pivot by report up in L1 equals pivot by. Now the row field is the sales rep field in my data. So what I'm gonna do is click at the top and then because I want to include the column heading, I'm gonna click again, comma, then column fields. I don't want any column field. So I'm gonna leave that argument blank, values. Now I've got two value fields. I've got revenue and I've got customer experience rating. So because I've got two, I'm going to have to stack them using H stack. Now array one, let's say that is the revenue field. So I click in the column header and then I click again to include the column heading comma. And I want to include customer experience rating. So again, I click in the column header and to include the heading, I click again. So then I can close the bracket for H stack comma and I'm on to functions. Now I've got two value fields and I've got two different functions. So because there are two, I need to use H stack again. Array one is going to be sum because I want to sum the revenue column. And that was the first value field comma. And then I want to find an average of the customer experience rating field. So average is my second function. Close the bracket, comma. The next argument is field headers. And yes, they have been included in my selection and I want to show them. So that's three. And for this particular pivot by report, those are all the arguments I need to use. So I just close the bracket for pivot by, press enter, and you can see I get that report. Now a little bit of formatting. These figures are obviously currency figures. So what I'm going to do is select column M and apply the currency format. No decimal places. These figures are numbers and I just want two decimal places, which is what it's given me. And to improve the appearance of things, I'm going to change the color of this row to a dark gray with white text. And I'm going to change the color of this row to a lighter gray and white text. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.